Hello, losers. Here is the queen of losers. Um, I don't know if I told you, I think some of you might know, but I'm part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and I know this is the Pride Month, this month. So I, I can see loads of uh, videos about... Um, LGBT community um, on social media. Um, maybe it's because I click on them because I'm interested by the subject, of course. Or maybe it's because it's Pride Month, so there are so many of them. But um, uh, I have an unpopular opinion about that. I feel that um, our community is not necessarily very tolerant <laughs> and um i'm part of it so i'm trying to uh try to be more tolerant but we always complain about heterosexual people um being um difficult with us and not uh, very respectful with us and so on and Unfortunately, I found videos about a um, guy who's apparently a, a t trans uh, boy. So he was a girl and he uh, transitioned to be a boy. And he, he posted loads of videos uh, making fun of uh, non-binary people and... Um, reacting to uh, some videos of gender fluid influences and saying that there were horrible people and that they should not be trusted and that you can be either a boy or a girl. Well, I mean, that's something you see from your own window when you're a trans person, because if you... Uh, felt that you had the need to transition it's uh, most probably because you had um, um, dysphoria and a problem uh, with uh, being uh, in the um, body of a girl and then you had to uh, become a boy or vice versa but in reality uh, there are other people in the LGBTQ plus community who are not thinking and feeling and experimenting life this way. Uh, for instance, as far as I'm concerned, I'm intersex. And, um, you know, there are different people who are intersex. You have... Um, uh, people who are, um, um, I don't know how, how the, the English word, but it's um, um, people who have both uh, uh, sexual, a uh, male sexual uh, organ and a female one. And you also have androgynous people, just like me, uh, who are not very uh, distinguished and it's difficult to know if they are a boy or if they are a girl. And yes, you can be in between. I've always uh, considered myself as a girl and I have lived my life as a girl. I met a man and we have two kids, but I'm uh, intersex medically. The doctor says that it's more complicated than that. And yes, you can be in between. You can be gender fluid. It doesn't necessarily need uh, means that you have uh, dyed your hair uh, blue or violet <laughs> because apparently um, they were cri criticizing gender fluid people for uh, looking weird. But you can look very normal and be in the middle. That, that was what I was willing to tell you. And please be more tolerant with us. We asked, we didn't ask for that. So love on your head, boys.